All right, I'm back again. Same day, second video. Uh, the reason I did two videos is because I didn't want to cram too much stuff in with this video. I wanted to dedicate this video to this and this alone. I got this in the mail from Market Hobby Nut Models today. 71 Boss 351 Mustang. I am stoked for this kit. Uh, I just... Oh man, I just, all new tooling. I love a Ravel kit. Right now, guys, Ravel is my favorite uh, manufacturer. They are just killing it with their with their model kits. I'm dying to get my hands on this thing, um, and I've got some ideas for it. So not only are we going to open this up, take a look at what's in the box. But we are going to push this, we're going to express this to the front of the line, and I'm going to build this, and I'm going to start on it almost immediately. Um, I would like to get this finished in time to bring to uh, the Classic Plastic Show uh, in October, the beginning of October. So that gives me, let's see, let's see August, September, two and a half months, really. So um, I should be able to finish up the Lamborghini and the Street Machine Nova and this in two and a half months, right guys? I mean, come on. Lamborghini's almost done. Uh, Street Machine actually is almost done too, so this should be pretty easy. Um, so let me flip the camera around and let's take a look at this model kit. I am excited. I'll be right All back. Right. And we're back. So I've already taken the cellophane wrapper off the box. Uh, you guys didn't need to see me cutting that thing um, off, but here we go. That is some cool box art. Um, I am a fan of box art, but I'm dying to get a look at what's inside this kit. So there's some pictures of the built model. Looks pretty cool. Looks like it's going to be really nice. Um, so, without further ado, let's open this sucker up. Put it off to the side here so we can have some room. All right, so here's the glass. I'm not going to open the glass because I don't want anything to happen to it. Um, but it looks really cool. Looks re Actually, you know what? what? the heck with that? Let's do this. I can put it back in the bag. Nice and clear. Look at that. Looks good. Looks really nice. Typical, you know, Ravel glass in good shape. Not much cleanup. Looks great. So let's put that back in there before something does happen to it. That's the last thing we want. All right, first bag. Okay, we got first tree, has the front suspension on it, dashboard radiator, uh, two radiator shrouds. That's interesting. So, your front subframe, your radiator support, really clean. I see no flash whatsoever on these, so that looks really good. So, let me put this over here. Second one's got your wheel backs, rear axle, sway bar, steering wheel, hood hinges, springs, pedals, center console. All really clean, really crisp. And again, no flash. So that's pretty neat. Pretty nice battery right there. So there's that. Here's your chassis pan. Really nice. Um, I really like how Ravel has stopped stamping the Ravel and the date and the patent number on the bottom where everybody can see it. And they started doing it up here, where you don't have to mess with it. That's so nice. 
But again, really crisp, really clean. Looks good. <clears throat> then you've got the grill, front valance, and side view mirrors. That's in that bag. We'll do that after. There's another giant bag of stuff. Let's cut that open. All right. Here's your hood. Really cool looking hood. That's nice. It's got a spot for actual hood pins, which is really neat. Nice detailing underneath. Looks good, not much cleanup. Here's your spoilers, rear spoiler, front chin spoiler, the pedestals for the rear spoiler. Rear valance, tailpipes, tail light panel. Again, no, no, almost no cleanup. You got your little, these little nubby things that you gotta clip off, but as far as flash goes, nothing. Fantastic. There's your engine parts. You got your valve covers, engine halves, starter, hoses, uh, manifolds, oil pan heads, intake, carburetor. Look at the detail on that carburetor. Fantastic. I'm excited for this kit, guys. Very nice. And your interior pieces. They look good. Two piece bucket seats. Um, door panels are separate. I like that because it makes it easier to detail these out. Very nice. Rest of your, of your exhaust. Good looking stuff. Chrome tree. So you got your shifter, mirrors, bumpers. Looks like gas caps and emblems and stuff like that. Good stuff, good stuff. Wheels, factory wheels. Those look pretty nice. I probably won't use them though. I am not a factory wheel kind of guy. Unless it's Steely's and Dog Dish hubcaps, but you never know. Very cool. Let's see what we got here. Then we got the body. Let's look at the body. Actually, tires. Tires are a nondescript radial. No names on either sides of them. Look like a, a factory size tire. Tread's not bad, but like I said, nondescript on either side for those. And then the body. That's nice. Panel lines are a little shallow. Oh, I have to scribe those out, like the uh, door gap, door gaps, and the trunk gaps. But that's okay. That's fine. Otherwise, really crisp and clean. I'm sure I can find some mold lines on this if I look hard enough. Matter of fact, this some right here, I think. But really nice. So is that. Instructions are the new Ravel style instructions. So they're this kind 
which I enjoy. I think those are really good instructions. Um, gives you your paint color call outs and all that. So really cool. Your parts tree numbers. That helps a lot too, especially for like new builders like Heather. These these this type of directions really help her or are helping her work on her Land Rover. So there's those now decals. Ooh, all right. So we got black and silver stripes. Um. Gauge decals, that's really cool. I like it when they put gauge decals in there. Um, you got underhood decals, emblems, your boss emblems, all that, your wood grain for your interior. Um, was that a. Oh, look at that. So you got a battery decal for your battery detail. couple different license plates there's your tire decals right there for your tires <sighs> cool good stuff all right so there you have it guys there's what's in that kit all good looking stuff let me flip this camera back around I'll say goodbye all right so there it is guys that Ravel 71 boss Mustang is nice uh, like I said I got this from Mark over at Hobby Nut Models. So if you'd like your kit, click the link in the description of the video. It'll bring you right to his uh, website. and You can start shopping from there and you can get one. I know he's got plenty in stock as of right now, but they're probably going to go fast. Um, as I said, I'm going to build this for the Classic Plastic Show. Uh, it's either going to be completely box stock who am I kidding? It's not going to be box stock. I'm probably going to add some engine detail um, and some aftermarket wheels. Uh, we do have a class at the show that's uh, called Day 2, which is basically a factory stock with um, modifications that could be added to a car in a weekend type of deal. Uh, so mag wheels... Um, you know, chrome valve covers, chrome air cleaner if you want to do that kind of stuff, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm probably going to do that with this one. Um, and I have a I have a specific color combination in my brain as of right now. But we're going to talk about that on the next video when I get this one uh, underway. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I really appreciate it. As always, thank you to Mark at Hobby Nut Models. Um, without him, this channel wouldn't be as cool as it is. So thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. Um, and thank you to all of you guys. So I'm hot. I'm sweaty. i got to turn the fan back on and uh, get to work on something. So I'll talk to you again really soon. Thanks and bye.